to make an inductive LED ring in two minutes or less, or however, however long it takes you. I don't really know. For this project, you will need a three millimeter LED, or perhaps even smaller if you have it, a 30 gauge coated wrapping wire, a silicone ring mold, and some epoxy resin. I'm using UV resin here, but I imagine any type would be fine. First, wrap your wire around several times in a circle to make a coil that will fit in your mold. The more wraps you do, the easier it will be for your LED to light up. I found that between 15 and 30 times is a good number. For this ring, I did 15 wraps, as it comfortably fits into my mold. Tuck your coil into the mold to keep it unraveling while you solder. Next, strip either end of the wire. Solder each leg of the LED to either end of the coil. Now would be a good time to test and see if your LED is working properly. If it's not, try flipping it over. LEDs are polar, so it will only work on one side. If it's still not working, try again with a higher number of wraps in your coil. Once you're happy with it, trim your LED and tuck it into your mold. Now to cast it in resin. I poured in my resin carefully and then with a toothpick made sure everything was pushed down and there was no air bubbles. Once your ring is cured, clean it up as needed. I trim the edges and sand it down smooth. And voila, you have a light up ring. I also made a version with glitter in the resin and one with coils facing opposite directions so it lights up different colors on either side. Since this ring works with electromagnetic fields, it's fun to see what you can put it next to to make it light up. Hotel doors, bus stops, or just wear it as a ring, I guess. And no one will ever know.